There are three types of men. The first type, losers. These are men who makes under 5,000 a month. Next, we have men between 5 to 50,000 a month. These are male girlfriends. And the last type of man, over 50,000 a month. That's exactly the type of man we'll be studying in our course. I'm sorry, Mrs. Richards. What if my boyfriend only makes three grand a month, but, but he's starting his own business? Uh, would that be okay? I mean, he could still make it, right? No, Katie. The key word in the sentences is good. Remember, if a man is not successful right now, he will never be successful. Break up with him immediately. What kind of love can you have for him without money? Wait. Remember, Katie, there is only oh man God. who's ever been oh. worthy of a woman's love. And that's Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> um, Miss Richards, I have a question. How do you call this type of woman whose husbands have an avenging come a cup of coffee. Oh my God. Hey! <laughs> Get out! Yeah, sure. What did you say? Did you hear that? Why are you still sitting here? I said, Get out! <laughs> now! Come on. Okay, okay. Mrs. Richards, be honest. You, you're not going to break up with your husband after everything that happened, are you? Oh, yes, I am. In fact, by the next class, I'll find a new one and even richer. Did you marry him just for the money? Teenagers played love, Katie. I look at the world with adult eyes. And if you still think that relationships are built on love, that you shouldn't be in my class. It's sad that some of us are willing to cut our threads just for the money. Such a shame. Are you serious? Yeah, honey, we're, we're broke. We're cleaned out. I mean, all the shares in the company, they, they, they collapsed. I had to sell everything to, to cut our losses. I can't believe it. What are we going to do now? Honey, don't worry. We still have the money that you're gonna spend on the convertible, remember? We can survive off that for a bit. Everything's gonna be fine, I promise. Excuse me? Are you kidding me now? That's my money, Matt. I was saving it for myself. What makes you think I would ever share it with you? Because we're married. That's it, Matt. Get your stuff. You're out of here. Why, Anna? Because I'm not going to live in the same house with a man who is even lower than a loser. But this is my house. <laughs> no, 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 honey. If you remember, you sign it over to me. There is nothing left here that's yours. Anna, don't do this to me. My heart Just shut this. up. I said, get out of my house. You have five minutes. I'll call you a cab. What? Okay. This one is good. But he's out of shape. He won't take care of himself, then he won't take care of his wallet. Mm. Not bad. But the shoes are cheap. Clearly some kind of meathead. No money for sure. Hmm. Handsome, well-built, nice suit. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, are, are, are you I'm okay? Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm fine, I'm fine. I was just uh, staring at my long eyelashes and my legs get tangled up. 
<laughs> I'm fine. Uh, uh, actually, I think I hurt my knee. Oh, uh, and how bad is it? Bad. You, you need to have a seat. Just, just sit with me for a little while until the pain goes away. It's a little awkward. No, it's not. I, I mean, I, I insist. Just sit with me for a few minutes. Oh, just for a couple of minutes. Yeah, please. <laughs> so, Anna, you're such an interesting person. <laughs> I can't believe you came here alone. What are you doing here? I met my husband in this restaurant. So I thought oh. I'd come here and feel a bit nostalgic. So you have a husband. <laughs> And where's the ring? I'm going through a divorce. So I guess I could say I don't really have one. Whoever he is, he's obviously such a fool to let such a beautiful woman out. Women like you are hard to find. He blew it, and I don't feel sorry for him. Well, at least he can go to his afterlife knowing that he was married to a beautiful woman like you for a while. <laughs> After life? I'm leaving for London tomorrow morning. Would you care to join me? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm opening a new branch of my business in England. And I'm taking the first fly off to London tomorrow morning. And you could come with me, if you don't mind, of course. OK, now, I know your loss of words. Listen to me close. This is going to be very, very exciting. But this is not going to be very serious. We're just gonna hang out, you know, a little bit until we get tired of each other. I can set you up for the rest of your life. That's what you want, isn't it? I'm sorry, I have to take it. It might be something important. Hello? Mrs. Richards. Hi, this is Westside Hospital. We have your husband. He's having a heart attack. Earth. Just shut up. One more time. Thank you, honey. You know, to be honest with you, I wasn't even sure that you were going to come and get me. Don't be so dramatic. I would have done the same thing if you were me. Where, where did you get the money for the hospital? And where did all your stuff go? My stuff? There are just things. It's only money I can easily do without them. But there are some things I can't live without. What are you, what are you trying to say? I want to say that I love you, Matt. I want to say that I love you as much as I loved you 20 years ago. And if I have a chance to make things right, if I have a chance to make things go back the way they were before, I would be happy to keep on being Anna Richards. And I'd be happy to keep on being your husband. Nervous. Relax, Matt. You're just a dinner with a new boss. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine and he'll definitely hurry. Well, I hope so, because he's coming up behind you. Uh, uh, Matt, Mr. Anna. Wayne. Good to see there you. It. Mr. Wayne. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice have you met you. my fiance, Getty, yet? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hello, Katie. Uh, it's nice to see you. I wanted to thank you for that talk the other day. I realized a lot after that conversation. 
And that is... This is the loser with the low income. He's the one you told me to break up with. But, as you can see, Allah was stronger than you advised. Bow down to him, Katie. No matter what happens. It's the only thing that matters. I will. I hope we need you. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope I won't let you down. Yeah, I know. So what burns, Bonnie? Will we finally see your loser father? Oh, I just want to say good morning. I'm in a hurry. Just hold on.